In the depths of prehistory, early Cretaceous, about 130 million years ago, when the Earth looked very different, we encounter a truly strange creature. Equipped with a crocodile-like jaw and long claws, it roamed both land and water. This animal was the Baryonyx. Baryonyx was a member of the Spinosauroidea. It belonged to a subgroup called Baryonychinae and was more closely related to Suchomimus than to Spinosaurus. The group known Spinosauroidea translates to spiny lizards. In general, these predators had a crocodile-like skull, strong forelimbs and a sickle-shaped thumb claw. Spinosaurids were likely specialized fish hunters. Baryonyx is one of the most well-known representatives of the Spinosauroidea, alongside Spinosaurus, Suchomimus, Irritator and Oxaliar. However, Baryonyx remained relatively obscure until it gained popularity as Rudy in Ice Age 3. Its second major appearance was in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. These depictions of Baryonyx did not entirely reflect reality, but contributed to its popularity. Baryonyx first gained attention in 1983, when amateur fossil hunter William Walker discovered its fossils in the Smoke Jack Clay Pit in the World Clay Formation in England. The remains were brought to paleontologist Alan Jarek, who realized they belonged to theropod dinosaur. About 65% of the dinosaur was excavated. In 1986, the dinosaur was described is Baryonyx Wokeri by Angela Milner and Alan Jarek. Its name Baryonyx means heavy claw and it is derived from its long thumb claw. The species name Wokeri honors its finder William Walker. Baryonyx measured between 7.5 and 10 meters or 24 to 33 feet in length and reached a hip height of 2.5 meters or 8 feet. Its weight ranged from 1.2 to 2 metric tons, placing Baryonyx in the middle weight class among Spinosaurids. However, it was much better known than most other Spinosaurs. Baryonyx possessed several unique features that set it apart from other theropod dinosaurs. These included its skull, which reached a length of 91 to 95 centimeters or 3 feet. The front part of its skull formed a long and narrow snout often compared to that of a gariole. Additionally, Baryonyx had nasal openings set far back from the front of its mouth, indicating that it likely submerged its head frequently. This skull structure was the first clue to its unusual diet, but more insight came from its teeth. Baryonyx had many teeth in its mouth, possibly around 96 in total. These teeth were long, thin and had conical, slightly recurved shapes with fine but minimal serrations, suggesting the function was to grasp and hold prey. Its jaws and teeth were essential tools for hunting. However, these were not its only hunting tools. As its name Heavy Claw suggests, Baryonyx had impressive claws. It had an average arm length for a theropod but was equipped with three claws on each hand. The first finger had the longest claw which could measure up to 31 cm or 1 foot. These claws and fingers were situated on robust forelimbs, a characteristic typical of a Spinosaur. Researchers believed that Baryonyx had a semi-aquatic lifestyle. Spinosaurids in general are thought to have spent considerable time in the water. A study on Baryonyx reported that its bone structure allowed it to dive, supporting the theory of a semi-aquatic life. To maneuver, it likely used its muscular feet and strong tail. A partial skeleton included an elongated neural spine, similar to that of other spinosaurs. However, Baryonyx's elongation was less developed than in other Spinosaurs, meaning Baryonyx can't join Oxalaya and Spinosaurus in the sail club. Oh brother, this guy stinks! Some researchers believe this elongation might have formed a hump that made it more agile in the water. Other proposed functions for this hump include thermoregulation or display. Even without a hump, Baryonyx was well equipped for its habitat with its jaws, claws and arms. 
Baryonyx's habitat encompassed parts of Great Britain and Iberia. Around 130 to 125 million years ago during the early Cretaceous. At that time, Great Britain was better explored, allowing us to gain insight into the flora and fauna of the region. The landscape included tidal flats and swampy areas. The water in this habitat was shallow and brackish, with fresh water entering through rivers. Forests were located near the water and featured a prevalence of bronze horsetails and coniferous trees. This environment mirrors the subtropical climate in which Baryonyx thrived. Crocodiles, lizards, amphibians, pterosaurs, sharks and bony fish also inhabited the area. Potential coexisting dinosaurs alongside Baryonyx included Hypsilophodon, Valdosaurus, Onitopsis, Eucamarotus, Chondrosteosaurus and Polacanthus. In terms of carnivores, there were other predators like Neovenator, Eotyrannus, Aristosuchus, Ornithodesmus and even two more Spinosaurus named Riparovenator and Ceratosuchops. The climate favored the local theropod dinosaurs, especially those specialized in fish hunting. Despite the high number of carnivores, Baryonyx likely had its own niche or sub-niche. Baryonyx's claw anatomy, forelimbs, teeth and skull left no doubt about its diet. It was a fish eater. Baryonyx was a piscivore, which is highly unusual among dinosaurs. Interestingly, Baryonyx was the first dinosaur confirmed to primarily consume fish. In 1997, a Baryonyx specimen with clear evidence was found. This Baryonyx contained the remains of a Lepidotes in its stomach. Lepidotes was a widespread ray fin fish with several species living in the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. Apparently, it was on Baryonyx menu. This remarkable find settled any debate about whether Baryonyx was a fish eater or not. But how did it capture fish? The answer might lie in the snout of the closely related Spinosaurus. Detailed analysis of Spinosaurus' snout revealed that the end of its snout had pressure sensitive receptors that could have detected underwater movement. As a close relative of Spinosaurus, Baryonyx likely had a similar, albeit less developed, method of detecting prey. Baryonyx's robust claws were likely used to grip and tear already caught prey, essentially serving to slice the flesh as it lacked specialized teeth for this purpose. Baryonyx is one of the few dinosaurs that provide insight into its feeding habits and preferred prey. The aforementioned specimen that consumed lepidotes also contained the remains of a young iguanodontid. It is unclear if Baryonyx intended to hunt smaller dinosaurs or merely scavenge the body of a dead dinosaur. Some researchers believe that Baryonyx is both a fish and meat eater. How Baryonyx went extinct is unfortunately unknown. Speculation can begin regarding whether it was due to climate change, the disappearance of suitable prey or some other cause. Although Baryonyx became extinct around 125 million years ago, it significantly contributed to our knowledge of Spinosaurus, their behavior and diet. It was the first confirmed fish-eating theropod dinosaur, shedding new light on theropod feeding habits. Ultimately, it once again demonstrated how unique and peculiar Spinosaurs were. That concludes the video on Baryonyx. I hope you could learn something new or interesting. Check out one of these bloops and Twitter for more dinosaur stuff and Instagram for fitness stuff. And with that, wish you a splendid day or evening. Goodbye.